Hello everybody, welcome to Grammar 2. Uh, you remember what we agreed upon last time when we were doing uh, Grammar 1. Uh, you know that the course is divided into two courses, Grammar 1 and Grammar 2. Together they complete, they almost complete the Grammar of English. At the end of this term you are going to be examined in what you had in Grammar 1 and what you are going to have in Grammar 2. All right? Uh, هقول لكم الكلام ده تاني uh, وبعدين بتهيألي المرة دي بقى يعني واحنا في term 2 we are going to talk English more than we talk Arabic. Uh, I'll try to talk as slowly as I can and you can always watch again because I want you to be exposed to the language as often as you can. When you cannot understand something, watch the CDs again. أنا حاول طبعا المرة دي إن أنا أغلب الوقت بتكلم بالإنجليزي إلا أحيانا هقول لكم حاجات لو عايزة أقولها. أه زي ما بقول لكم إذا حسيتوا إن في حاجات مش قادرين تتابعوا الإنجليزي ولو إن إحنا دلوقتي يعني you've been studying English for some time now ممكن أشوف دايما السي دي تاني. لان ده معناه ان انا يعني اول مره هسمع تاني مره هبقى عارفه اللي بيتقال تالت مره ممكن حتى حاولوا ان اي حاجه بتشوفوها ان انتوا تتكلموا مع المحاضر والاستاذ بيتكلم حاولوا ان انتوا في تالت مره بتشوفوا and we are going to consider this an exercise at listening and speaking اول مره هسمع تاني مره هبقى فاكره شويه تالت مره اقدر اقول واعتبر ان دي تمرين على آه الكلام alright طيب يبقى احنا هنبتدي دلوقتي مع بعض وبعدين زي ما قلت لكم في نهاية الترم ده احنا بنمتحن في, في الجرامر of English كله على بعض الحاجة التانية اللي عايزة اقولها لكم ان when I teach the second term when I was teaching grammar to last term Someone attended from Grammar 1, asked for permission to attend in Grammar 2, and I said fine. Later on, he told me that what they had in Grammar 1 was more difficult than, than what they were having in Grammar 2. I'll tell you what. You remember when we were doing Grammar 1, I told you that you can do all your grammar correctly even if you do not understand the meaning. Sometimes you had some very long sentences with many clauses, but it was all about the structure of the sentence. كله كان ليه دعوة ببناء الجملة والجملة معمولة من إيه؟ وإيه اللي يخليني أعرف إني أجاوب صح؟ من غير حتى ما أبقى فاهمة المعنى. This time, grammar may be easier as your uh, companion or uh, as your colleague uh, in the first term said grammar may be easier this term but you have to concentrate on meaning to get your sentences correctly المرادي صحيح الجرامر ممكن تكون أسهل في حاجات لكن عشان أعمل الجرامر صح أنا محتاجة أن أنا بقى فهم المعنى مزبوط in grammar one you did not have to know the meaning of words you had other clues to know that this is a verb, that this is a clause, this is a connector, this is a subject, and so on. And you could do your grammar correctly without need to understand the meaning. Now we should know the meaning. You'll know what I mean when we start. All right, let's start together lecture one, and uh, we'll start with the first. Item. The form of the verb. The form. The form. What's the form of the verb? You always know, or you have always known, that English an English verb has three forms. The past, the present, and the past participle. And you know that the, there are regular verbs and there are irregular verbs. Now, let us say now that we do not have three forms, 
but we have five forms. An English verb has five forms. And I will remind you of what we were doing in the last term. The form of the verb. English verbs have five forms. You should be aware what forms to use after have, after be, and after models like will, would, shall, should, can, etc. Have, you know have, and you know verb to be. But here you have something else. You have the word models. Yani models. Models like verb to be and do and have, but they have meaning. They do have meaning. Type the following are examples of the five verb forms. Type. إحنا عارفين إن إحنا عندنا present past past participle ده اللي عارفينه وعرفنا المرة اللي فاتت that we have the present participle which is the verb when I add ing sometimes I use it that's just to remind you I use it as part of the verb not the verb the present participle ing verb this is not a verb but it is part of a verb or it may be a noun or if you remember, we use it as an adjective. Type. وبعدين عندنا بقى something else, which is very much like the present, which we call the base form. The base form, uh, or sometimes you used to call it the infinitive. The base form is not the present, because the present can be walk with certain subjects and or, or with certain pronouns and can be walks with other pronouns. And when you say he, she, it, it's walks. But the base form is always walk. He wants to walk. We want to walk. But he walks to, to, to work and we walk to work. That's the present. Ibandina the base form, the present, the past, the past participle, and the present participle. These are examples. Uh, some some are regular verbs and some are not. Regular verbs take ed for the past and the past participle, but irregular verbs change. Like, this is a regular verb. Walk, walked, walked. What I have here, heard, heard. This is irregular. All right, let's look at cook. You have cook, cooked, cooked. This is again a regular verb, but we have sing, sang. Sung. This is irregular. All right? Now, after have, use the past participles. You've always known or you've always studied tenses in a different manner. دايماً كنتوا بناخد الجرامر بطريقة تانية. إن أنا أقول مثلاً إن ال past perfect أو ال present perfect بيبان you have plus the past participle of the verb. Or when I have the past perfect, uh, the past participle, I have had plus the past participle of the verb. No. I want you to know something different, which is easier. After have, use the past participle. Daiman bad have. Have or any form, let's, let's know it this way. That when I have the verb have or any of its forms, yani, have means have, or has, or having, or had. After any of these, you have to use the past participle. Uh, I don't want you uh, to try to remember what tense this is, and what do I use with, the, with, with have in a present perfect tense. What فكروش في tenses. أي حاجة فيها have, أعرف على طول have, يعني have و has و having و had أعرف على طول إن أنا بستعمل وراها ال past perfect uh, past participle من غير ما أفكر بقى يعني because I want you to be able to, to, to speak correctly أي حاجة فيها have لازم هستعمل وراها ال past participle من غير ما أفكر في tenses هنفكر في الكلام ده بعدين 
after the verb have or any of its forms, let, let me repeat that, have, has, having, or had, the verb that follows is in the past participle form. Let us correct these mistakes. They had finished work. Anji, I have here a form of have. This is have. I can't say finish. I have to use the past participle form. They had finished work. We have see, have, see, and I will see, saw, seen. We have seen the play, not we have see. He has took, he has took, he has, I want the third form, past participle. يبقى هقول على طول هعرف ان على طول عندي has يبقى لازم اقول taken he has taken the book having eat طبعا برضو eat ate eaten اول ما هشوف have لازم اقول eaten having eaten we had tea alright طيب he could have did the job could have I can't choose did. Did is past. I need the past participle. Hatiba he could have done. When you know that this is what we use, this is the form we use after have or any form of have, yibba wana bat kalim a wana baktib mish mafrud and nana haglat. Halai ayi form of have, yibba arfa na la tool hayigi wara the past participle. Without having to think about Tenses now for now. Type. Um, no, let's return. Type. You should, I want to correct this, apparently I can't. Type. You should also, in the slide, we cannot correct it. Malice. Type. You should also be careful that the past participle form. Also has to come with have. إذا إحنا قلنا برضو. It's it's the same it's the same um, principle. نفس الحكاية. If you say that have should be followed by a past participle, برضو. A past participle should be preceded. لازم يسبقه have or any form of it. The verb is either past or past participle. With have or a form of have. The verb is either past, or it will be in the past participle form, I have or any form of have. Right. <coughs> he begun a new job. He begun a new job. And I have begun is a past participle verb. Or a past participle form of the verb. He began a new job. Or if if I have the past participle, he began a new job. Or he began a new job. Or he has begun a new job. He done. Bardu he done. Ma fish hagas ma he done. Awal ma ara kena mafrud araf galat. Ina galat. He ma ul he did a lot to help. He ma done. Tiba he has done. A lot to help. Type verb form after have, have plus the past participle. Type let's look at exercise 30. Underline the verbs in the following. We are not underlining, we are marking because we have colors here. Underline the verbs in the following sentences and indicate if the sentences are correct or incorrect. Let's look at number one. We are going to do this together now, but I will show you uh, the answer key. The little boy drank a whole bottle of medicine. The little boy drank. My infasha ul drank. Ya imma ul has drunk. Ya imma ul the little boy drank. Die. Number two. Before I slept, I had locked the door. Die. This sentence is correct. I had locked. Had and followed by the past participle form. Having run. <coughs> now, 
run is an irregular verb. Bila ini ba ul run for present. I use it for present. Run, ran, run. Type having run. Iba na hina mas tama la i. I am using the past participle form after a form of have. Iba having run out of bread. I called the supermarket. Iba this is correct. The mechanic has broke. Has I have has the mechanic has broke. Yeah, ma ul the mechanic broke past tense. Yeah, ma the mechanic has broken. Has broken. A form of have has followed by the past participle. Let's look at number five. He should have completes the exam earlier. Completes. Is completely wrong. He should have completed. Let me bold. Complete, completed, completed. He should have completed. She has often number six. She has often become depressed during weekends. She has often become has become type. Darfin become is present, but it's also past participle. He has often, she has often become, become, became, become. Number seven, the boy has rarely, nederan, has, I have a form of has, rarely, rode, no, ride, rode, ridden, his bike in the park. But the boy has rarely ridden his bike in the park. Number eight. Having saw, bardo galat. Having saw, I will mas mahak ida. Having and having seen. Having seen the accident, he was very agitated. Agitated, he was nervous. He was excited. He was not calm. Agitated is the opposite of calm. Type number nine. I have thought about quitting my job. I have what I thought. Think. Thought, thought. لما هتعود على على إني with with forms of have, I use the past participle. مش هقدر أقول ت الغلطة دي. إني أقول مثلاً I have. وعند فكر think ولا thought ولا thinking. لا I have thought. You could have برضو. You could have replied. No, replied more politely. Now, after be, after verb to be, after be, use present participle or past participle. Bardo. يبقى احنا عرفنا دلوقتي. In the bad have, or any form may have, has, have, or has, or having, or had. After any form of have, you use the past participle. هنيجي بقى الverb to be. After be, use present participle or past participle. Be, في حقتين. يا إما بس نعمل past participle they have. لكن ممكن برضو بس نعمل the present participle اللي هو the ing form of the verb. طيب نشوف مكتوب إيه. Any form of the verb be. يعني زي am, who is, who are, who was, who were, who be, who been, who being. Can be followed by another verb. Li can be followed by another verb. La ino mumkin yani it could be followed by a noun, by an adjective. Zayil gom la li fetid di. He he was agitated. I am calm. Hmm. These are adjectives. I am a teacher. I am a student. These are nouns. Yibah. ممكن بيجي بعد verb to be أحيانا sub أحيانا nouns أحيانا adjectives and sometimes they are followed by verbs other verbs. Type any form of the verb be can be followed by another verb. This verb should be in the present participle. يعني يعني in the present participle the ing form of the verb or the past participle. 
برضو مش هفكر يعني انا عايزة ان انا اول ما اجي استعمل الفعل او اول ما اسمعه اسمع حد بيتكلم صح او غلط اعرف ان بعد verb to be يا اما جاي عندي حاجتين يا اما ال present participle يا اما ال past participle هنعرف بعدين ليه في الجرامر ده ايه لكن المهم اني اعرف اقوله صح تلقائيا شوف الجمله الجايه Uh, you should, we will, you will study the tenses later. يعني I do not want you to worry about tenses now. ما يهمكوش دلوقتي tenses. But we may say now that the verb be is followed by the present participle when we have a verb in a continuous tense. And it is followed by a past participle when we have a sentence in the passive voice. فاكرين احنا قلنا قبل كده And we use the present participle, يعني الفعل في ing, to be part of the verb, to be part of a verb in a continuous tense. The continuous tense is just given a, but given verb to be زائد الفعل في ing. وإحنا عارفين إن عندنا كمان حاجة بس ما تكلمناش عنها قبل كده. عندنا the passive voice أو المبني للمجهول. Now. It's enough to know now, before we talk about tenses, it's enough to know that be is followed by the present participle when we have a verb in a continuous tense. And it's followed by a past participle when we have a sentence in the passive voice. Verb to be, be you are a past participle, la may kun andi passive voice. Be you are a present participle. فعل في اي ان جي لما يكون عندي a continuous tense طيب in other words when the sentence starts with the object ده ال passive voice when the sentence starts with the object and not with the subject هنتكلم بعدين عن ده طيب we are paint our house we are paint our house طبعا Verb to be, yeah, we are painting our house. The house was, a do verb to be. But here, that I told you, and to do grammar correctly, I have sometimes to think about meaning. Ma dar shaul, masalan here, the house was painting. The house was painting. That means that the house is. Subject of the verb. Who will be able? Does the action? The house was painting last year. La. The house here receives the action. It does not do the action. The house was painted. This is pass passive voice. The house was painted last week. He حاجة من الاثنين. يا إما حقول the house was painting. يا إما حقول The house was painted. هنا بقى لازم أفكر في المعنى. The subject, اللي هو the house, the subject in the sentence. Is it the real subject? يعني does it do the action or is the action done to the house? هنا الفعل بيقع على the house. يبقى مش مش it's not the house that does the action. مش البيت اللي بيقوم بالدهان. ده البيت الدهن. All right. Fahdeba, the house was painted. Tight. Nadia is arrange the furniture. Tight. Then Angie Nadia is subject. The furniture is object. Is arrange is a verb. So it's a verb for Nadia, the subject. Nadia is the subject. Nadia does. The action of arranging hail betrattib. If Anadia is arranging the furniture. Tight. Nafsil gumladi. But with the furniture was arranged by Nadia. You know, the furniture was arranged by Nadia. The Anadi verb to be was. Mish haul. مش هقول the furniture was arranging لا the furniture was arranged Nadia here does the action يبقى أنا بقول Nadia is arranging 
because this is a verb she does the action لكن بقول the furniture was not arranging but was arranged because the action is done to the furniture طيب give a verb forms after be be plus يا إما present participle يا إما past participle present participle if it is a continuous verb and a continuous tense and past participle if it is a passive voice طيب let us look at exercise 21 underline the verb be and indicate if the sentences are correct or incorrect تعالوا نقول مع بعض هنا وبعدين هنشوف الانسو كي we are start the lecture at 12 without thinking about tenses we are start ما قدرش اقول we are start هقول we are ايه اما هقول starting يا إما هقول we are started طيب ده أنا عندي بالفعل we are start the lecture the lecture هي it's an object يبقى we are starting the lecture at 12 طيب I am leaving later today it's correct I am and you have the present participle the parcel was Deliver by the mailman. هنا لازم أفكر. أنا عندي two nouns here. I have the parcel, it turned, and the mailman. One of them did the action, and the other received the action. طيب. يا إما هقول the parcel was delivering, huh? And the parcel does not deliver. يا إما هقول the parcel was delivered by the mailman وهنا هيبقى عندي past participle لأن I have not a verb but I have a past participle uh, I have a past participle because I have a passive form طيب number four to be working be working to be working be وراها present Participle. To be working was extremely important to her. This is a correct sentence. They are build their house on a farm they own. They are build. لا. يأما هقول they are built. هم ما بيتبنوا وده طبعا غلط. يأما هقول they are building. وانا عندي بعد كده object اهو. They are building their house on a farm they own. It had been noticed had been noticed that a lot of money was wasted and I have here two instances halteen min verb to be it had been had been is verb to be it had been noticed I have been noticing I have been noticed here lohiza haga lohizna haga lohizna haga اتلاحظت يبقى هنا ده ايه ممكن اقول it had been noticing is it a verb و it هي subject it had been noticing حاجة هي اللي بتلاحظ ولا حاجة اتلاحظت يبقى it had been noticed it's passive that a lot of money was wasted برضو a lot of money was wasted مش was wasting لان the money does not do the action الفلوس مش بتضيع الفلوس حد بيضيعها so it's passive voice was wasted <coughs> let's look at number 7 the exam results should have been submit by next week طيب the exam results do they do the action or is the action done to them تتسلم هي نتائج الامتحان هي اللي بتسلم ولا بتتسلم it's passive voice يبقى should have been submitted verb to be plus past participle are the two companies merge into one هنا بقى على فكرة ممكن الجملة دي تنفع بالحكتين 
ممكن اقول are the two companies merging merging يعني يندمج طيب are the two companies merging into one هي الشركتين بيندمجوا في شركه واحده طيب sometimes to give importance to a noun I can make it the doer of the action and not the recipient of the action. I, may, I can make it the doer of the action هو اللي بيقوم بالفعل and not the recipient of the action مش هو اللي بيقع عليه الفعل. أنا ممكن مش أنا ممكن uh, أقول are the two companies mer- merging into one هم بيندمجوا مع بعض. وممكن أقول are the two companies merged into one Merge يبقى somebody else is merging the companies يبقى كأن the two companies are not doing the action طبعا when something when a noun does the action you give it more importance you give it more importance فممكن الاثنين يبقوا صح number nine we should be taking more than four courses this semester we should be taking be taking more than four courses we are taking the courses but this is the verb it's a continuous verb we should be taking more than four courses this semester number 10 the information has been duplicates on the disk type uh, the information has been duplicating هي اللي بت 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 دوبليكيت تو ميك سمثينج اجين يعني بت بت بتتسيف تاني مثلا او بتت بتتعمل مره تانيه على الاسطوانه طيب ولا حد تاني يعني ذير از ا سبجكت ذات داز ذا اكشن اوف دوبليكيتينج طبعا اتس نوت ذا انفورميشن ذات داز ذا اكشن اتس سم ون ا بروجرامر Uh, or some someone else is doing the action. how the information has been duplicates, duplicating, or well, duplicated has been duplicated. It's passive voice because someone is doing the action. All right. Type. Let's look at the models now. Use the base form of the verb. After models, إيه هي المودلز دي؟ طيب, you know that we use what we call helping verbs. يعني helping verbs. يعني verb to be مثلا, it does not have a meaning. Sometimes it doesn't have a meaning. If I say, um, I am hungry, I am thirsty. Does verb to be have a meaning here? It does not. But in English, we must have a verb. لازم يكون عندنا فعل في الجملة. طيب. هو ملوش معنى. It doesn't really have a meaning. لما اجي اقول مثلا Do you want a cup of coffee? Do you want a cup of coffee? Do هنا دي برضو. هي ليها معنى ولا is it there because it is a helping verb and it's needed to form a question. Do you want a cup of coffee? Do you want a cup of coffee? طيب. ما لهاش معنى لكن it's needed because we form nouns, uh, sorry, we form questions using a helping verb. Models are very much helping verbs, but they have meaning. يعني إيه؟ يعني ما أقول مثلاً uh, I must have the medicine. Must هنا ليها معنى. ليها معنى اللي هو وجوب أو لزوم إن حاجة لازم تحصل. وفي نفس الوقت هي um, بتستعمل برضو زي ال helping verbs يعني ممكن أقول مثلا must I have the medicine must I have the medicine yes you must طيب 
with these models we use the base form مش انتوا عارفين ان مع verb مثلا زي does she go does she come did he find with these helping verbs we use the base form بس ما لهمش معنى ال 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 helping verbs دول لكن ال models they do the work or they do the job of helping verbs auxiliaries لكن at the same time they have a meaning طيب عندي بقى منهم كتير يعني عندي will that's the The, the present form would and you can could present and past forms and you shall should may might and must and so on and there are other models as well type the train will leaving at three type ma darsha will will leaving will lazim yigi waraha il base form لازم تبقى the train will leave طيب افرضوا انها كانت the train is كانت هتبقى the train is leaving افرضوا انها كانت have يعني a form of have طبعا the train is singular تبقى uh, the train has كانت هتبقى دي إيه the train has بعد have بيجي ايه past participle كانت هتبقى the train has left The train is leaving. لكن إذا قلت the train will يبقى لازم يجي the base form. The train will leave. Type. The doctor may arrives soon. Type. Arrives. أنا بقول the doctor arrives. لكن لو عندي may a model يبقى لازم الفعل يجي without the s. أنا كده مصرفة الفعل. ما هوش في the base form. The base form is arrive. And I will, the doctor arrives, this is present tense. The doctor may arrive without the S. Students must take, oh, sorry, students must take in five courses. Bardo must is a model, يبقى لازم أقول must take. Must take. Type, if ready, أنا كان ممكن أقول students must, ممكن أقول must have. لو عندي must have كان لازم بعد have استعمل ايه past participle فهتبقى students must have taken طيب verb forms after models يبقى model plus the base form of the verb the base form اللي هو متعودين نقول عليه من زمان الانفينيتيف اللي هو الفعل اللي مش متصرف لا في اس ولا في اي دي ولا في حاجة Let's look at exercise 32. Each sentence contains a verb formed with a model. Underline the verbs and indicate if the sentences are correct or incorrect. The shop owners might reduce prices. Type an anti might, that's the model, will reduce base form. Correct. The TV program will finishes. لا أنا ممكن أقول the TV program finishes at ten. لكن لما حط will هقول the TV program will finish at ten. يبقى الجملة دي كانت غلط وصلحنا. Shall I call you up in the morning? Call you up? Call you up يعني give you a ring. Call you over the telephone. That shall I call you? Shall call. It's correct. The system of organizing the company can be developed. مش هقول can is مثلا وأقول إن the system is لأن أنا عندي can. لكن أنا كم يعني فردو أنا عندي the system of organizing the company is يبقى هقول is a is developed. هنا برضو كان جاي وراها the verb in its base form the system of organizing the company can be developed بعد كان لازم يجي the base form مش زي لو قلت the system of organizing the company 
is developed عندي is وجاي وراها past participle لكن ما دام عندي can بعد can لازم يجي ال base form طيب number five the blender الخلاط the blender may switches off when you put too much liquid طيب برضو لو ما عنديش may كان ممكن أقول the blender switches off blender it بتاخد s في ال present the blender switches off when you put too much liquid لكن أنا عندي may may is a model after a model the verb must come in, in the base form the blender may switch off when you put too much liquid I thought I could um, add words here but apparently not the cats must be fed twice a day the cats must be fed طيب واخدين بالكم هنا عندي حاجتين must is a model فيجي وراها ايه the base form be و be is a form of verb to be فيجي وراها ايه يجي وراها the past participle هقولها تاني must is a model يجي وراها the base form of the verb اللي هو be be is verb to be اللي قلنا يا اما يجي وراها the past participle the, or the present participle فادي be جاي وراها the past participle و be نفسها is a base form جاية بعد must which is a model the flats with the Nile view could sell and and you could is a model well that's sell sell is the base form sell sold sold sell is the base form type the flats with the Nile view could sell for extremely higher prices type here you should feel mana زي ما الجملة اللي جت قبل كده اللي قلت لكم to give يعني about the companies merging together قلت لكم ان the noun that does the action of the verb is usually more important than the noun to which the action is done يعني الاسم اللي بيقوم بالفعل دايما السبجكت بيبقى اهم من الابجكت يسي فعشان كده لما بيبقى الأوبجكت مهم في الباسيف فويس إيه اللي بيحصل؟ إحنا بنجيبه في مكان السبجكت، بنجيبه في الأول. طيب في معنى الكلام بقى إن اللي بيقوم بالفعل دايماً بيبقى ليه وضع أكبر شوية من اللي بيقع عليه الفعل. طيب هنا مثلاً الجملة دي زي بتاعة The companies are merging. The flats with the Nile view could sell. could sell for extremely higher prices. حد ممكن يقول لي the flats do not sell. The flats are sold. أنا ممكن طبعا أقول the flats with the Nile view could be sold. With a passive voice for extremely higher prices. صح. لكن عشان أنا عايزة أدي الفلاتس قيمة أكبر من مجرد قيمة الأوبجكت فبخليهم هم اللي بيقوموا بالفعل ودي حتى في العربي ممكن تلاقونا بنقولها مش احنا ساعات نقول اه الحاجة دي بتبيع كويس هي مش بتبيع هي بتبيع هي بتتباع في الحقيقة هي بتتباع لكن اذا قلت اديتها حق انها هي اللي بتقوم بالفعل when it does the action it receives more importance بيبقى ليها اهمية اكتر يعني اما اقول الشقق اللي ليها اه اللي بتبص على النيل بتبيع بتبيع يعني هي في الحقيقه بتتباع لكن you give the active form of the verb not the passive form of the verb because the flats are important they receive more importance when they are doing the action not receiving the actions بيبقوا اهم لما هم اللي بيقوموا بالفعل مش بي بي بيقع عليهم الفعل طيب If he had really wanted to pass the exam, he would. And you would, eh? 
would يبقى لازم يجي وراها ايه ممكن اقول he would has ولا he would have he would have base form he would have studied much more طيب number nine I do not know when they will leave I do not know when they will will is a model and leave is a base form this is correct she will will model finish will gay or have finish base form if she can has tabarangi can come in can is another model in the sentence has is not a base form if she can have someone to help time you should an answer key I'll, I'll let you look at that so that when you watch your CDs uh, you can have the answer key time will take time to do that and you can always stop the slide the little boy drank a whole bottle of medicine the little boy has drunk the little boy drank before I slept I had locked the door before I slept I had locked the door type um, I had locked Taban and had a form of uh, have lesmi yoraha locked a past participle having run having run out of bread I called the supermarket I called is only a past tense verb the mechanic has broke the mirror no the mechanic has broken the mirror he should have completes the exam earlier no he should have completed she has often become depressed during weekends this is correct the boy has rarely ridden his bike in the park. Having saw, having seen the accident, he was agitated. I have thought about quitting my job. This is correct. You could have replied. You could have replied more politely. Exercise 31. You can have a look at it. The last one is exercise 32. Those are the ones we did together, but I want you to see the, the slides of the answer key so that you can always um, do your revision. All right, this finishes our um, first lecture of Grammar 2. We meet again next time. Thank you very much. See you soon.